All right, of course, uh, tomorrow, as South Africans, we commemorate uh, June 16. The Tietzi Mashinini lecture is due to start at uh, the Morris, Morris Isaacson High School uh, in Soweto. The speakers are Professor Chilizi Marala and uh, Vice Chancellor of uh, the University of Johannesburg and Professor Mamukhe Tipageng, the Vice Chancellor of the University of uh, Cape Town. Mashinini was a leader during uh, the 1976 Soweto uprising, during which uh, students took to the streets to demonstrate against the use of Afrikaans as a medium of instruction. Our reporter in Tanta Ghatane is uh, there. Yes, well, good day to in studio coming to you right here from Soweto Morrison Isaac School, High School rather, uh, where uh, uh, we're going to witness uh, a memorial lecture in honor of Tietzi Machine, one of the leaders in 1976 uh, amongst young people, which they decided to take a stand against, uh, um, or, or rather opine with regards to action, uh, you know, taking a stand against uh, the action of the brutal apartheid. Uh, but with me today here, I have a couple of guests uh, that are going to talk to us with regards to the event today. With me, I'm with the uh, Machinini, the brother of uh, Tietzi Machinini. Thank you for your time. Uh, today, commemoration of Youth Day, this month I mean, um, as the family, how does, that, how does it make you feel that, you know, um, your brother, you know, his, his role during that time uh, is being, you know, honored? Uh, the month of June is very important to us as a family, um, particularly June 16th, the day, uh, being a public holiday, we, we celebrate the life of a young man who led a huge student uprising in Soweto in the midst of police brutality. Uh, so June is it's a very important month to us in that we not only celebrate, we look back to the achievements that were brought about by June 16 itself. Uh, and there's quite a number of those uh, achievements. I remember it was not about uh, uh, Africans uh, as a language. It was Africans as a medium of instruction in black township schools. That was the problem, which within a few days' time it converted into a struggle against apartheid. So that struggle culminates today in what we refer to as freedom, as democracy. Uh, we just gone through elections, young people have voted, and so on and so forth. We are happy about that. Uh, talking about you know, uh, the role that young people can you know, play in a society or in a democracy like South Africa, 25 years uh, on, uh, we have seen uh, the Fist Must Fall movement. Do you believe that the youth have the same character as the youth of 1976? It's very difficult to compare characters of generations. Uh, you know, in 1976, as a young man, you grow up, uh, as you walk out of the gate of your home, uh, there's a chance that you can be arrested for a passbook. There's a chance that you can be arrested for loafer's cup. Loafer's cup means you, you're unemployed, you're loafing around the township, you can be arrested for that. So the youth of 1970s were faced with serious challenges. Challenges that don't give you a piece of freedom. They don't give you a, a piece, like a minute piece of freedom. You don't have that sort of thing. But the youth of today, uh, different from that of 76. I mean, you know, the technology is high, everything is good. There is democracy, there is governance, there is, there is uh, you know, your own political parties are in power and so on. But my biggest problem today, you know, we witness a lot of uh, school killings. Uh, I'm not able to separate that generation of, of people at high schools and what you refer to as youth. School killing, killings, killings. Uh, I mean, think about it. You take your, your child to school, and before you know it, the kid is dead, has been stabbed by another youth, and so on. I don't want to talk about Fismas fault. That was a different struggle, and I think those those, those youth they won that struggle today. Some of them, or a large number of them, are going to school free of charge and so on and so on. They got proper accommodation and so on. But I, I, I'm more concerned about the school killings. That is big to me. 
Uh, one last question I have. They set the tone, the youth of 1976, and they showed that you know uh, youth, uh, young people can take a stand. Um, do you think, as a family member, that you know wherever Uuntatetsi is, he's happy with uh, the situation, especially amongst youth? We're talking about unemployment, but we talk, you spoke about the fees must fall. You spoke about um, what's happening in high school. Uh, do you think that he's happy where he is, looking at the situation that he's facing young people now? <laughs> I'm not sure if he's happy. I, I, I doubt if he's happy. But, uh, you know, 25 years of, of democracy is quite a, a, a short time. I mean, the boy is only 25 years old today. So let's allow the, 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 the young man to grow. Let's work towards a uh, upbringing of this kid. I mean, it, it, it's just a democracy. These youngsters, these youth, they need to be led, they need to be guided, they need to be supported with resources, they need to be assisted with so much for them to grow up and become a proper democracy and, and begin to lead that democracy and, and take away certain of our powers from us, the adults. They need to go ahead and not only enjoy, but lead and take the resources of the state and make South Africa a different country. Thank you so much. Uh I'm going to talk to Omre. Mm. Omre, um, you are a former classmate. Yes. You were there when all this happened. Yes. Just uh, in a short time, take us through what transpired on that day or that time. Yeah, basically uh, the action committee of the South African student movement uh, 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 planned this march uh, and uh, disseminated the information throughout the high schools of Soweto so that uh, all the seven high schools in Soweto at that time could lead the marches uh, of uh, secondary schools nearby uh, in route to go towards Orlando and so on. So here at Morris Sussexon, of course, we were led by J.T. Machine and Matthew Morobe. Uh, they were the people that, uh, you know, gave us all the instruction as to what should, what, what, what should be done, uh, how the march is going to be, what we must do. So we were uh, in that side, I mean, getting the f first hand information from the, the leader himself, State Machine. So I would say that we, we were okay, you know, we were led in the proper way by State Machine. Let's fast forward. Uh, 2019, uh, the youths are facing a different struggle. Um, do you think this youth is, you know, staking from the steps of CHC uh, machine, the likes of CHC machine, and the leaders back then? I mean, you were there uh, when the uh, 1976 uprising happened, and you are here now. Just talk to us about the situation uh, today and then. Yeah, I think I think the youth of today are faced with different problems than those we had. We were faced with uh, Africans as a medium of instruction. We were faced with apartheid. But today, all that is no more. You know, they are faced with a big problem that uh, they must study, they must learn. You know, uh, they must learn about fourth industrial revolution. They must, you know, uh, study more. They are free to study more. Facilities are there, and uh, I just think that. Uh, Maybe the only thing that's still lacking behind today from our side is that uh, in terms of democracy, we have not yet reached what we thought will reach one member, one vote for electing leaders. Up to now, we don't have that at the moment. And uh, I think that the youth of today must fight for that so that they can actually have their own leaders that they've elected in parliament, you know, on the basis of one member, one vote. At the moment, they are not allowed to do that. You vote for the party and the party gives you whoever they give you. Um, during this week, I mean, first of all, it's not the first time that we're talking, me and you, yes. especially about this. Mm. Uh, during this week, I met a couple of young people who are disgruntled, you know. Uh, mm. Some of them have two degrees. Uh, another one, you know, is a business administration student and says to me, mm. I'm hopeful, um, but I've not been working for two years and I feel neglected. And, you know, and we had a thorough discussion with him and we spoke about government and government's role. And, you know, the young man said to me, we know that uh, one of the role of government is not to, like, create jobs but to create an environment that, you know, would allow business to create jobs. Uh, I mean, back then, you know, you guys stood up against apartheid, uh, challenges in terms of going to institution of higher learning. Uh, what's your take with those who are really, you know, facing predicaments like... Uh, I, think, I think the problem of unemployment is, can be looked at in two ways. First, that uh, maybe the economy has not been going well because of state capture and uh, what the Guptas and the Watson have done to capture the state and, uh, you know, ISCOM, Transnet, all these companies were, as we know, they were drained out financially by those in government, which is very unfortunate. So that didn't create a platform for jobs. But the other thing 
that makes people not to be get jobs that they don't have relevant skills the degrees that they do maybe they study are not needed by the economy so one of the things that uh, i was saying the other time that we should do every year statistics south africa should be informing the high schools about what job are required in the economy, what jobs are required, so that when students choose professions at university, they choose relevant uh, professions that they will get jobs after. Because it doesn't help when you go and study maybe biblical studies and from there there's no post for a priest, so you won't get a job. But if Statistics South Africa can annual, on an annual basis tell the high school students uh, on what uh, courses to take, what courses are needed in the economy, then we can, uh, you can reduce unemployment. One well, last question before I let you go, Om Omri. Um, young people, do you think uh, they're in the right path? You know, looking at, you know, we have examples that we can look to say that the class of 1976 did this because they didn't believe in this and they, take, they took charge, you know, during the dark days of our country. Uh, are the young people in the right path? Yeah, I think the young people of uh, today, I mean, they have to, they, they, what, what they have to do, I think that some are, are aware of the problems, but some are not really aware of their current problems. So they have, first of all, to study what are the, the real problems of the day. And after studying what are the real problems, then, then look at what they can do as the youth to solve those problems. And as I'm saying, the key issue is to, to study relevant degrees at university. It doesn't help to go and study a course from there. When you finish, they say there's no job or there's, you don't have experience. When there are vacancies throughout the, the economy. So let's study relevant courses. Then the jobs will be created. Yeah. Thank, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Well, there you go, studio, uh, former classmate of uh, TAT Machine, in, you know, just giving us his perspective in terms of, you know, today and then, and basically saying that, you know, young people need to research and uh, uh, study courses that are relevant, that can, you know, uh, make an impact uh, in society, especially in to today's uh, uh, 25 years of democracy. With that being said, it's back to you in studio. Um, thank you very much. Uh, that, of course, uh, he's coming to us uh, from uh, White City in uh, Soweto, uh, where the TSC uh, Machinini commemorations are set to start. Uh, the lecture is due to start uh, shortly at uh, the Morris Isaacson High School there in Soweto. We will, of course, take you live there as uh, the day progresses. All right. The uh, English language, uh, pardon me, we'll take a short break. Do stay with us. Shine in my dark. 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 Shine in